Hey there guys, so I have another video for you. Um, this one's my latest haul. Some new stuff which has actually turned up. So I have um, seven CDs and a vinyl to show you. <clears throat> one CD is a common box set that I found at work and then a vinyl from Amazon and these lot come from Amazon. So I should start off with these um, CDs from Amazon. The first one I have is the Road Starts here, which is um, Aerosmith. This is from Aerosmith Vindaloo Vaults, their first known recordings or previously unreleased. So it's meant to be like a live show from, um, I'm not sure what tour era, but it just says um, very early recordings. You can probably see my hands covered in whatnot from work because I've been really been trying to get this off. I spent like three days trying to get this um, paint or oil off from work and I'm struggling to get it off so I've just got to YouTube and find the right stuff so I can get, shift it off my hands because it's doing my carrying heading. Um, next one is Judas Priest, Long Beach Arena, the classic 1984 broadcast to CD set. She's another one of them broadcast archives which I can't wait to get into so let me know what her that is if you have know what two of it is because not really good with the tours of judas priest i know there's a lot of um british steel on here but and of defenders of the faith maybe but strange enough i was actually born in 1984 so that's pretty cool this next one is um the elephants of mars which is the new joe satriani album actually can't wait to get into this and give this one a full listen so I will be unboxing I will be unboxing all of them but that one I can't wait to get into. This next one is another Dream Theatre Lost Not Forgotten Archives Special Edition and Beyond Live in Japan 2017. I did do a video on the one which is Images and Word because basically they um played the whole of Images and Words live and then they done a best off set and this is the best off set which was released. Really not sure why they done a um, two disc. I really don't know why they done it. Um, they didn't release it as a two disc where you get the um, images and words live, and then you get this as the second disc, which is the encore, which is eight bonus tracks. I'm not sure why they've released them separate, but I had to get it just to add that one to my collection. No, 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 no. There is some more Last Not Forgotten archives on its way, so I can't wait to um, get copies of those. And add them to my collection because I've got like seven so far, so there's more coming out, which is awesome. Then we have the last Axeman Crystal Viper, originally released in I think it was 2003. It said a um compilation or EP, and then in 2008 there was a compilation out, which I'm guessing it's the EP with um some of the with extra tracks on it. So I can't wait to get into this and do a bit more research and dig more into this compilation which absolutely can't wait then the last one which was in pre-order from amazon is tina <coughs> guo i think her name's duo guo game on she's a multi-instrumentalist with um plays the sort of cello and this compilation is um video game compilation so she covers all like video game themes and she's done a lot of stuff like she's featured in Sabaton and done a lot of like movie soundtracks and stuff like that. So I thought I'd grab it and give it a full listen because what I've heard of her stuff I do enjoy. And she's done some various stuff with Sabaton which I loved. So I thought I need to check her out and give her more of a listen. This next one is Found at Work, Hall of Fame 2000. Classical FM. So it's a compilation of with stuff like... um. Holst from the planets, Beethoven, Vivaldi, Mozart, Elgar, which that's awesome because I do love my classical, just needs a bit of a TLC, so happy to add that one to my collection and I will be giving that one a listen soon. It's already open, so more than likely there wouldn't be an unboxing video on it. Then we have one vinyl and this is um, completely different to what I, I've usually got because I'm so happy to get this in my collection. I still own this video game on the Mega Drive, I still own 1 and 2 and I've had them many years so to actually find the soundtrack on vinyl is 
absolutely awesome so there's a lot more um soundtracks of these video games there's um two four six eight ten twelve fourteen there's 15 at the moment so i will be looking to get all of them and add them to my collection but this is number seven so this one is golden axe one and two official soundtrack which i can't believe i've got this actually in my collection so i can't wait to do a video on this i'm overexcited so can't wait to listen to it and i will be doing a full unboxing video and review on this so super excited so yeah that's been my latest haul um of cds and stuff i do have quite a few things turning up over the next couple of weeks so we'll do another one unboxing video as soon as possible so now i will go and get these unboxed so i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video remember to like and subscribe hit that notification bell um i've still got quite a few there to unbox so i'm going to be getting these done over the during week past week so i can actually give these a listen and i can't wait to get into the new trick or treat album and give that one a listen so hope you guys enjoyed this video <coughs> i'll see you in the next unboxing video so take care stay safe